Oh gosh, look at that. Look at that. Graft. Sort of headband of welding on it. Um, right, so I said I would do a link to a video that I made for. Uh, no, that. Oh, start again. It's been a long day, can you tell? Um, a few weeks back, Jason Andrews made a chain <coughs> wrench. Chain wrench. So, I made my own version. <coughs> And I made it for uh, one use, one particular job really, and that is to um, remove the uh, the valves out of gas bottles. So, and I said I'd show you how I use it, how it works. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got a stash of bottles under here. Most of them, to be fair, are healing ones. But I have got just uh, there, it's hidden. This one gas bottle. I'm going to dig it out. I haven't touched it yet, so it kind of proving pudding, as it were, um, whether it works or not. Because I'm going to say I haven't, I haven't, I haven't physically touched the tank. So we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go and see if it's, uh, if it's as good as I make it out to be. I'll dig it out and get it back on a bench, and we'll go from there. So these are the games. Get that valve out. And I can fill it with water, purge it. I found it really, I found it really, really difficult to get out. Um, I've had quite a lot of trouble trying all sorts. First thing I'm going to do is cut off this. Obviously, full intentions of not cutting into the tank, because obviously that's the idea of purging it before we cut to it. But you can safely cut these off, and then you've got access. To be fair, you probably won't need to this one. <laughs> traumatic so the idea with this thing is you put the valve in there and you crank crank it tight so that will go <coughs> put that over there like so right. and you crank it now that's quite firm now the hardest problem is holding on to the tank I found a perfect solution My perfect solution. 20 stones sat on it, they don't move. So get it into a position that it's gonna work. Oh, I see if we've got to get rid of this and crap out of my shed. Position then is that over there like that. Gonna keep it so it's nice and snug. And then, like I said, I've not done this, I haven't preempted it, I haven't loosened it. Let's see what happens. How easy was that? So, so easy. Open it up. There we go. And I should be able to do that. Right now. Check that out. And that is free to go by hand. I'm going to keep it back up because I can just smell gas. And obviously, it's in my shed. And I don't want to smell gas in my shed. So that's it. Make you all sick when you're about again. So, chain wrench. I won't show you how to build it. I'll put a link in the description um, from Jason, Jason Andrews. He made it. He made his. He made it for an oversized nut. Um, so this oversized nut made his own. So yeah, go check Jason's uh, video, and you'll see how it's made and how it works. But getting the valves out. Couldn't be easier. So much simpler. Chain wrench. It's the future.